Hello everyone, I'm happy to back with another action. This time we are going in with Joe. Joe, my boy from Patreon, he has requested this album. Now, I think he's doing this just to kind of trick me out. <laughs> the Asymptical, the Asymptical, I think. The Asymptical World by Vives Tuma Vive. I have no idea how to even say the name. What's new there? I'm just the worst at this stuff. Vives Tuma, maybe. It's alternative. He said it's a weird little band. It's their EP, I think. I have no idea about them. Like always, I'm going in blind. I'm kind of keen to see where this goes. There's six tracks on the EP. Six is my favorite number. So if there's six tracks, I mean, it's going to be the best EP I've ever listened to, right? <laughs> The album cover looks very, very interesting. Some cool little artwork. Looks a bit like olden day kind of vibes. So yeah, like I said, I have no idea what this is going to sound like. And that's the most exciting part. Just to kind of jump into something that I've never heard of. That I can't even pronounce. So I mean, if I can't pronounce it generally, it's, it's something awesome. <laughs> so let me know how to actually pronounce it so I can get it right if we dive into any more of their music. <sighs> Just the tingles and the sensation it gives you. All right, the opening song is called Jackie. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Sean Bowie, so if that's David Bowie's son, I'm like, what the hell? I wonder if it's a group or if it's just one dude. Interesting, I'm so keen to hear more about these guys. It actually reminded me of this band called Nude, N-U-D-E. Just that kind of vibe. I don't know what I'd even describe the genre as. It's listed as alternative, but I don't think, oh, maybe it is, I suppose. Interesting, kind of like, yeah, a bit more like rocky, but poppy, but kind of naughty. <laughs> That was sick though, I love it, like an old flame, an old X. I love the sound of it, all the production. Such a great way to open the EP, I'm hooked. I wanna hear more, let's keep going. The next song's called Crush Velvet, let's go. Almost a, almost a Sunday sesh kind of vibe as well. A bit heavier. Sean Bowie wrote it, so who is he? Is he the main dude singing? I'm keen. Oh, I just like I said, if that is David Bowie's son, I'm just gonna be so gagged. Bowie is not a common name, so it's gotta be. I'm just gonna get with that for now <laughs> until I'm corrected. That was sick. Such a down south indie little vibe, but just with the rock kind of element. This is Mark kind of vibe. Joe, you never let me down. This is so sick. I'm, uh, yeah, I need a whole album of these guys or this dude or whoever. <laughs> Whoever it is. Next song is a long one. Secrecy is an incredible... Oh God, I've already forgotten it. <laughs> Secrecy is incredibly important to the both of them. What the hell are we going in with? Let's go. Hey. Almost like the Wombat as well. Oh, that's like the so low. The interest is sick. Oh. I wish you could hear his vocals better though. Or is it because they want secrecy? That's why it's like louder. I don't know. Yeah, weird. Yeah, obviously, again, I don't know what the song's about because I just kind of stopped reading the lyrics and just vibed out with the production. Interesting choice as to why it was so quiet. I'd love to know why. I don't know if it's because secrecy is incredibly important to the both of them. Interesting. 
yeah, cool little thing though, like the instruments were just vibing out. You kind of just, yeah, got to feel that vibe. Definitely, I guess, the most rockiest out of it, but still had those little indie elements. It's a really intriguing sound, which I like. The next song is called Tuck featuring Naked. Let's go. <laughs> the hell was he just producing and she was singing were they producing together this naked chick definitely gave me sophie vibes just some reminiscence of it what a turn of the album i mean that compared to crush velvet you wouldn't even think that the same artist that is sick definitely not sunday sesh definitely not indie vibes that was just full-on weird little weird <laughs> I loved it though. That's absolutely one of my favorites on it. That was sick. The next song is called Da 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 and Loyalty is a Nuisance Child. Let's go. I don't know what the song means in Loyalty is a Nuisance Child, but that was sick. Absolutely a song that's playing at the end of the saw. It's just that real heavy kind of rock number. Punk pose, a prima donna. I love the vocals, the sound. Oh, that was sick. How did that come off the tuck? I have no idea how this EP is doing what it's doing. I don't know, but this is such a broad spectrum of music all in one in six songs. Insane. This is Sick. <laughs> We're at the last song, it's number six. Favorite number is it gonna give us the best song on the EP? It's called Katrina. It's called Katrina. It's called Katrina. 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 Oh my god. Who knows? Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. she is i'm guessing that's the name of the song i can't katrina maybe i'm just gonna go with that what an ep oh my god again i always never know what to expect but that is absolutely not what i expected in the slightest just how different the genres went started off as a little sunday sesh vibe then we went into some weird little electronic sophie number and then into this just heavier rock not metal just yeah like rock right kind of sound very interesting very intriguing i definitely want more this came out last year so interesting as eps i'm pretty sure they've got 
lot albums, so I'm wondering why they release an EP, or is this just a specific type of music, or is this the music they always do? Joseph, 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 what a bloody recommendation. This was sick. Definitely took me by surprise. I think Jackie and Crush Velvet are maybe my favorite. Just, I guess, like, if I was going to go nice Sunday indie vibes. Tuck, though, was sick. I loved that. I think Secrecy is my least favorite, just because you couldn't really vibe with it, because you couldn't hear the lyrics unless you were really listening. Yeah, one out of six, not being a banger, isn't bad. They were all so different, so intriguing. Yeah, wow, I definitely want to play this again. This is, again, you can either have it in the background or you can just slam it out. It's not, I guess, cohesive enough to all be on the same playlist, but so, so, so cool. Such a cool project. I love it. I don't know how many people know this EP or know this artist, so it's going to be interesting to see if anyone else vibes with it or has favorites about it or knows anything about it. Let me know down below if you do. Or what was your favorite song on the EP? Because this was sick and I definitely think people are going to have favorites or not love it all. Or love it all. It's going to be quite an interesting one to talk about. Awesome though. The production was stellar. Lyrics were cool. He was really intriguing. I liked all the different voices on the album. I liked the different kind of sounds. I'm obsessed. This is sick. I just can't wait to play it. So I'm like, what else can I say so I can wrap this up so I can press play again? Joseph, thank you so much. As always, giving me the goods. That was sick. I loved it. Oh my God. That was just so intriguing. He gave me two options and I went with this one and all he said was it was they are weird and alternative but super cool and I think that describes them perfectly. Weird, alternative and super cool. I loved it. So good. The full on card that will be on Patreon. Link is down below. I'm on Instagram at Grippin. Hit like and subscribe if you want to see more. And let me know what else you want me to hear. If you want to request a song, hit on Patreon. Yeah, I mean, you get to see all this stuff and just hear all these songs uncut, which is absolutely how they should be listened to. Hope you have a great day, everyone. I'm going to have a great day, Ryan. Ben is going to go.